Hi, in this lecture series, we'll be creating a project into Django. Projects into Django are top level directories that contain all the files associated with a Django instance. Your website will only need one project per Django instance and creating a new project is the first step to building a website with Django. So let's do it. To create a project, you'll open terminal, navigate to your desktop, which you can do by typing CD the squiggly line slash desktop. Once you're there, you'll type the following command to create your project to Django dash admin start project followed by your application name. And for this project, I'll name ours test project. After you hit enter, you'll see a new directory was created on your desktop. Let's explore this folder. first file you'll see is the manage.py file. And this is the file that you'll use to interact with your project. The Django comes with many handy tools that you'll be using throughout your project. We'll explore this file more later. And you'll see the test project inner folder. Let's click on this. This has three files and I'll open these in my favorite text editor. The first file is the settings file. This contains many different constants. The first one you'll see is the base directory folder, and this is set up automatically. The secret key, you'll want to keep this a secret, obviously, um, if you use your project in a production environment. Whether or not your project is in debug mode, which allowed hosts are allowed to access your project, which applications you have installed, and we'll go over applications in a further lecture, which middleware classes you're using, where your URL configuration is, settings about your templates, um, WSGI applications, with the database settings, time zone, static URL locations. We'll go over some of these settings in a later lecture series, but the settings file contains the settings of your project. The next file is the URLs file. Now this is your main URL configuration for your application. We'll also be going over URLs in a further lecture but for right now, I'll just say that in this example, this says that for any URL that contains your domain followed by admin, it will be sent to the admin URL configuration. And like I said, we'll be going over this in more detail later. The third and final file that was added to the start project command is the WSGI file. And you actually won't be needing to modify this file if you followed this lecture series. And that's it. You already have created your project. Congratulations.